January 20th, 2017, you came by the tens of millions, become part of a historic movement, the likes of which the world has never seen before. The President Donald Trump wakes up for his second full day at office, confronting hundreds of thousands of women and men hitting the street. Marching not only in Washington, but also in cities across the country and the world. There are more than 600 marches on seven continents. We are a generation that recognizes the collective power and potential that can be generated through social media. And we work to educate one another and we do not understand. Black lives matter! Black lives matter! Black lives matter! Black lives matter! Everyone is listening to you now. Social media has become an integral part of our everyday lives. It has made our world feel very small. Now more than ever, we are able to find out what is happening around the world in a matter of seconds. My generation is made up of activist friends in England, in Japan, in France, and more, and we have never met each other in person. We are a generation that recognizes the collective power and potential that can be generated through social media. Not only has social media helped create the feeling of having a smaller, connected world, but it has also given a platform to many voices that are often overlooked. With the many voices of people who were calling for equality with love wins. The people who fought hard to end police brutality with Black Lives Matter. And the cries of people advocating for proper gun control with Never Again. Through hashtags and shared posts, social media has become an essential tool for spreading information globally. Out of the many voices to be heard through social media, one group significantly gaining more traction by the second is women. I mean, look at this. Listen to this. Like, this is our moment. This is our moment. After President Donald Trump, a man notoriously known for his inappropriate behavior and vulgar comments towards women was inaugurated, women across the world marched to protest his presidency. The march was organized almost exclusively through social media. People created event pages on Facebook, promoted the march through tweets, and encouraged people to attend with Instagram posts. Social media made it easy to reach out to a wide audience, making it essential in attracting enormous crowds around the world. From simply raising awareness on issues online to hashtag activism, Social media activism has taken up many forms, but is social media ultimately effective or destructive? It's a bit difficult to assess the impact of some of the most recent social movements. I don't think many hashtag movements have actually been resolved in any significant way. I think one of the best parts about social media is that it's not just about one-way communication between me and you. It's about everybody having this giant conversation. How that's changed activism is really gotten people to get involved with causes and figured out ways to, that they can actually participate through this, this giant conversation. But critics believe that through the way that social media algorithms are set up. Users create their own echo chambers. It's actually more curated than we might think, but with the notion of curation comes a certain level of accountability. And the platforms are not particularly interested in being accountable in that way. Companies and corporations still manage to exploit social media movements for their own profit. We have to care about commercial spaces dominating our information landscape. We have more data and technology than ever, and we have more inequality and injustice to go with it. Despite what criticisms those may have on social media's role in activism, there's no 
no doubt that it is an extremely potent tool in progressing movements, especially in today's political climate. Two of the most groundbreaking movements are the Me Too and Time's Up movements. In a New York Times article recounting sexual harassment allegations against Hollywood mega producer R.D. Weinstein, Ashley Judd acted as a whistleblower for victims in the entertainment industry. New allegations about Harvey Weinstein are coming forward saying they also received unwanted sexual advances from the movie mogul. In the midst of backlash and controversy, actress Alyssa Milano suggested that women who have faced similar ordeals should utilize the hashtag MeToo to share their similar experiences on Twitter. This not only allowed victims to be heard, but also created an online community backing them. The hashtag was incredibly effective, with a wide circulation of tweets and influential people behind them, supposed powerful men were exiled and careers were ended. The Me Too campaign, created in the wake of the Harvey Weinstein allegations, inspired a former Olympian to come forward. Perhaps one of the most important outcomes of the Me Too movement are the allegations against Mary Nazar. On October 17, Olympian Michaela Moroni joined the Me Too movement. It was a lengthy post on Twitter. It came out overnight and it accused USA Gymnastics doctor Larry Nasser of sexual abuse. Everyone's words over the past few days have been so inspiring to me. I know how hard it is to speak publicly about something so horrible because it's happened to me too. Michaela's statement paved the way for more gymnasts to speak out. The eruption of allegations eventually led him to trial, where 156 gymnasts read their statements. We are here, we have our voices, and we are not going anywhere. He was sentenced to 175 years by Judge Rosemary Aquilina. Sir, I'm giving you 175 years. I just signed your death warrant. None of this would have happened had it not been for the rise of the Me Too movement. Born from the Me Too movement came Time's Up. The Time's Up movement was announced through social media on January 1, 2018, founded as a direct response to the Me Too movement, calling for solidarity between working class women of all industries. It's called Time's Up, a new initiative started here in Hollywood, taking words into action. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! To the Time's Up Defense Fund, which was created for people who are victims of sexual harassment and discrimination and abuse in the workplace, and they don't have access to legal representation. With many Hollywood celebrities founding the movement and announcing it on their social media handles with large followings, Time's Up quickly became widespread within hours of its debut. Notably, part of the movement calls for celebrities to exemplify their support by wearing symbols at important events. It is a show of solidarity and it's not about what we're wearing. It's not just about our industry, it's about every industry and also every woman around the world. It's about saying, look, we're all behind you. Images of stars following these dress codes would quickly become viral online, expanding public support for the cause in real time. With Me Too and Time's Up movements, constant, widespread online presence, but heavily impacting the real world, it is hard to ignore the power social media has. Social media is an extremely powerful means, especially in today's political and social climate. Despite its drawbacks, it cannot be underestimated nor ignored. Through public, accessible, online platforms, social media allows the voices of suppressed groups to spark progress, make structural changes, and to be heard. When utilized effectively, it is entirely possible to influence and change society through social media alone. Oh, yeah! But it's important to remember that in spite of this, the most important part of social media is the community of people within it. And when that new day finally dawns, it will be because of a lot of magnificent women fighting hard to make sure that they become the leaders who take us to the time when nobody ever has to say, me too, again. In the end, we are the advocates of our own change.